Hello friends, this video on continuity and differentiability part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 17 to solve such complex questions. We can take one more example. This is one example where we use chain rule also and the product rule also. Why? Because if you see this example, this guy is 1 and this guy is 1 and both are composite function. So it's a complex function which is considered of two composite functions. Why? Because cos x cube itself is a composite function and sin square x to the power 5 is also a composite function. Correct? So this is a little lengthy question so I can solve, I can try solving this for you. So what we can do is, first let's take this part, cos x cube. So if we can differentiate this guy, we can differentiate this guy, then can be, we can use the uh, product tool where we have differentiate this guy into this guy plus this guy into differentiation of this guy. So we'll add this and we'll get that formula. So let's try to solve the value for cos x cube. If you see cos x cube, this guy is also, uh, um, what do you call it? Composite function. Why? Because cos x cube, if I write like this, let's suppose uh, gx is equal to cos x and hx is equal to x cube, right? So g of h is my cos x cube. This is my composite function. So I can use chain rule now. Correct? So let me assume x cube as t. So I've got two equations y1, because I'm assuming this guy is y1 and this guy is y2. And y is nothing but y1 into y2. Correct? y is nothing but y1 into y2. So I'm not taking y1 only. So y1 is equal to cos t and t1 is equal to x cube. I've got two equations. I have to find dy1 by dx. dy1 by dx. Correct? So this is nothing but dy1 by dt1 into dt1 by dx provided dy1 by dt1 and dt1 by dx exist. So dy1 by dt1 to get this let me differentiate this guy first guy y is equal to cos t so I'll get dy1 by dt1 this cos t1 actually is nothing but minus sin t1 so I'll get this value minus sin t1 into dt1 by dx if my t1 is equal to x cube I can say that dt1 by dx is nothing but 3x square. Correct? Because t1 is equal to x cube, dt1 by dx is nothing but 3x square. So I have 3x square. Since t1 is something which we don't know, so I can write this in the form of x also, and t1 is x cube, so this becomes minus 3x square, which is the sine t1, sine x cube. So this is my derivative of the first function. So dy1 by dx. This is my first equation. This is something which was required must. I have got this. <coughs> what is next? The next is let's try to get the value of this guy. dy2 by dx. Here also if you see, this guy is also a composite function. How? Because you have sine square x, x to the power 5. It's a composite function. So let's do this. Let me write this as t2. So I get my equation t2 as x to the power 5 and y2 because this thing is y2 now here. y2 as sine square t2. Correct. What I have to find? I have to find dy2 by dx. This is nothing but I know dy2 by dt2 into dt2 by dx y because it's a composite function. So the first thing is I have to find dy2 by dt2. So let's do this. Let's find it here. dy2 by dt2. So if you see this is nothing but again sine square t2. 
so this is nothing but sin t2 into sin t2 correct so i can use the product rule here to find this guy so this is nothing but you take the first derive the take the derivative of the first part multiply second part and then second part derivative of first part so this part derivative of first part is cos t2 into second part just like that plus first part like this only sin t2 into derivative of second part that is sin t2 derivative is cos t2 correct the product rule we are applying here so if my uh, formula was fx is equal to uv f dash x plus is nothing but u dash v plus uv dash same formula I am applying here u is uh, sin t and v is also sin t here so this becomes nothing but 2 cos t sin t so my dy2 by dt2 I got so this guy I got this guy is 2 cos t into sin t the next part I want is d t2 by dx so I have this equation from this I can get that t2 is equal to x to the power 5 so I get d t2 by dx is nothing but 5 x to the power 4 very simple x to the power n becomes n x to the power n minus 1 so this becomes 5 x to the power 4 since we want equation in forms of x only dy by dx so we will replace t with x to the power 5 this is nothing but t cos x to the power 5 sin x to the power 5 into 5 or just multiply 5 into 2 is 10 into x to the power 4 so this is my value of dy to do y dx so i have got this now again since it's the product of two functions i have to again use the chain rule so let me draw a line here i'll use a chain rule here from here so till now i have got two equations so this is my second equation this is my first equation this is my dy1 by x and this is dy2 by dx so if my y is equal to y1 into y2 correct so my dy by dx is nothing but dy1 into dy1 by dx into y2 plus y1 into dy2 by ds correct again same formula the product rule if my fx is equal to u into v f dash x is nothing but u dash v plus v uh, u v dash same thing here this is guys uh, u dash v u v dash so let's put the values here all right here so my dy by dx is nothing but dy1 by dx what is the value of dy1 by dx this guy is minus 3x square sin x cube into y2 what is the value of y2 y2 is this guy correct sin square x to the power 5 sin square x to the power 5 plus y1 y1 is this guy cos x cube cos x Q into dy2 by dx dy2 by dx is something which we know that is 10 cos x to the power 5 sin x to the power 5 into x to the power 4 this is the value so if you solve this what you get here is actually we can't solve this if the solved version only you can see there is nothing common here there's a solve us again just rewrite the positive fast here then negative part here this becomes 10 x to the power 4 cos x cube cos x to the power 5 sin x to the power 5 minus this guy 3x square into sin x to the power 3 sin x to the power 2 or sin square sorry sin square x to the power 5 and that is my answer 
So what we have done? So this was a little tricky question because it is it involved a lot of concepts. This y was composed of two functions and that obeys the product rule. Y is equal to y1 into y2. So what we did, we know that if you want to derivative, find derivative of this, y is equal to y1 into y2, u becomes uh, dy by dx is nothing but differentiate y1 into y2 plus y1 into differentiation of y2. So we wanted to find these values, differentiation of y1, differentiation of y2. So what we did, we took this guy as y1 and we found derivative of this. And this itself was a composite function. So we use the chain rule found to find derivative of this. We got this value d by 1 by dx as this guy. Similarly, we took this guy y2. This guy also was derivative uh, composite function plus this was sine square. So this also involved the chain rule. So we found somehow found d by 2 by dx. So we have uh, d by 1 by dx. We have d by 2 by dx and by 1 y2 also. Just use the product tool, solved it, got the answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.